I want to talk about something that we can all relate to, all right? Now, this is, this is uh, you know, it's, it's the holiday season right now. Uh, uh, people come from all over the world to see the big Christmas tree in Rockborough Center. I uh, bet a bunch of you people saw it today. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's hard to miss. One of the biggest trees in the world is right in front of Rockefeller Center. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Uh, people come from everywhere to check it out. But oddly enough, people like me who work right here in the building, just a few floors above that tree, don't always get a chance to enjoy it. We don't get to even go down and take a look at it. There have been seasons where I haven't even seen it. Because, you know, I just helicoptered right to the show <laughs> in my helicopter made of gold. And, uh, <laughs> and I don't ever see it. So I decided I wanted to. So, uh, so last night, I went down to see the tree, and I took along my good buddies, Max, came with me, uh, and, uh, yeah, I couldn't go anywhere without you. Oh, thank you. And, uh, I took my pal, our announcer, Joel. He came along, too. There he is. Uh, crazy. A job where you don't need pants. Anyway, uh... <laughs> He takes advantage of it, don't you, Joel? Right. Anyway, we had a uh, we had a we had a terrific time. The best part is we took a bunch of pictures of our trip down to the tree. I just got them back from the old photo shack. Uh, yeah, and uh, I thought instead of me just uh, looking at them, what if we all looked at them together? Wouldn't that be fun? Good. That's what I thought. So we do that right now. I'm going to show them to you in a piece we're calling a Rockefeller Center Tree Photos. All right, here we go. Uh, here's the first photo. I was, uh, I was sitting in my dressing room when I had the idea to go down and see the Rockefeller Center tree. And uh, that's me having an idea. Um, I found Max sleeping in his dressing room. And uh, a lot of drool there. And we found Joel crying in a broom closet. Uh, to get uh, into the right mood, I put on a holiday tie. Uh, Max put on a holiday sweater. And Joel put on his holiday pasties, which is nice. Um, Max and I were uh, pretty creeped out by that. Then we recovered. Uh, we left the building to see the tree. There we are right there. <laughs> and apparently, I'm floating. <laughs> I look like a cave drawing there of a guy walking. Anyway, we left the building to see the tree. We saw a big crowd of people, huge crowd of people, yeah. Now, I braced myself for a big rush of autograph seekers, but no one rushed over. I said, uh, I guess no one recognizes me in this disguise. Max said, but you're not wearing a disguise. So I stretched his lower lip and pulled it over his face. Uh, we finally got a look at the tree itself. There was a tree. We were stunned by its majestic beauty. Joel said, my parents took me to see this tree when I was just six years old. I said, that must have been fun. Joel said, not really. I got lost, and when the cops drove me home, my family had moved and left no forwarding address. <laughs> I tried to think of something nice to say, and Max just laughed. <laughs> just then, we saw a Salvation Army Santa standing nearby. I put in a dollar. Max put in a dollar. And Joel put in 25 cents. Then Joel tried to get change. I said, Joel, that money's for the poor. Joel felt guilty, but only for a second. Just then we saw an elf taking a break from the Radio City Christmas show. Max made fun of him saying, hey, pal, taking a short break. The elf said, yes, from my Taekwondo class. That's right, Max has no bones or arteries. <laughs> After Max glued his head back onto his turtleneck, we decided to go skating at the Rockefeller Center ice rink. There we saw the famous statue of Prometheus. Max said, in Greek mythology, Prometheus was punished by the gods for giving fire to mankind. I said, yes, but ultimately he was freed from bondage when Hercules killed the eagle that tormented him. And Joel said, hey, he's hung like a horse. <laughs> Then we hit the ice and realized we weren't the best skaters. I had trouble keeping my feet together. Max didn't know how to stop. 
But Joel was a fast learner. <laughs> Unfortunately, Joel spun a little too quickly and drilled himself into the ice. <laughs> Joel said, don't worry, I'm fine. Then the Zamboni ran him over. <laughs> After Joel recovered, we decided to take pictures by the tree. I asked a passing woman to take our picture. It was Katie Couric. <laughs> I said, beat it, Couric. He left NBC. You don't belong here anymore. <laughs> Joel yelled, take a hike, anchor babe. And Max said, yeah, go back to CBS, traitor. So Katie knocked Max's teeth out, pulled my lower lip over my face, and ripped Joel's scalp off. But she, uh, she still took our picture, and it was the best Rockefeller tree visit ever. Uh, it was a good picture. Good times. All right, everybody, we'll take a little break. We come back. Cameron Diaz is here. She's like.